Hi. The purpose of my video tonight is to draw your attention to uh, an add-on, a very interesting add-on. Ocean. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go to that. That first. Uh, let me draw this a little bit and uh, do this sign uh, is here ocean okay well we have we have uh, this grid this mesh grid actually uh, and if you remember from uh, the beginning, I mean the uh, previous screen, uh, we had a cube and this mesh is displacing that cube. Uh, so here we have uh, this here generate uh, look if you go to the drop down uh, and you you can see this place okay let me let me uh, hit this place or, or the cube which is here uh, again uh, what again this generate and we get this so the, the, this is displacing this mesh actually is displacing the cube and we have these values and parameters here uh, related to geometry and then when you scroll down uh, you here have generate foam okay so there are uh, also waves so there are basically uh, three major parts the geometry part the waves and the uh, this part the foam generate foam so oh when you when you press this uh, well let me okay well, back uh, it's just uh, the size uh, changes uh, actually it gets uh, tiled uh, along uh, the X axis and then when you uh, do the same with uh, uh, this value repeat Y and you get look uh, and it, it it gets tiled along the Y axis uh, well each of these uh, uh, values well certainly plays a role uh, but some of them I think are more uh, interesting at least for this video for the purposes of this video than others look this uh, time uh, we here have uh, like at a certain point uh, we look at uh, the sea and uh, the waves and uh, it kind of the image that comes to our mind so that is that is a certain point of time and uh, this is good for animation like to get uh, the uh, mesh animated the ocean animated and this resolution which is uh, uh, clear uh, I will talk about it later too and the uh, depth of the sea also the size the size of the sea also spatial size which is similar to size and this random seed kind of uh, creating waves uh, random waves and then will you uh, let's let's uh, try each each well if we uh, press size uh, lock uh, changes take place uh, also special special size uh, and uh, when we get to waves and we have choppiness uh, which is 
uh, used to describe uh, lengths of the waves. Some are short and some are long or shorter and longer. And this alignment is uh, uh, basically aligned with the wind. Uh, well, this, this plays uh, a very important role. Let me uh, click, you see, uh, I mean, the uh, changes that take place uh, here on the mesh. Uh, also, well, wind the velocity, the speed of uh, uh, the wind, and this damping which is related to uh, the reflection of the waves, like when uh, some waves uh, move in a certain direction, then uh, there are also waves that uh, return or move in the opposite direction. Uh, okay, and the other ones, uh, I will talk about them. Let me, let me add to this value the scale. Okay, and uh, before going to the other values, um, let's go to material and uh, select, give some color. Uh, that that might be good. Looking like water, indeed. And uh, well, this this is uh, shiny enough. I would I would li like to uh, just add this to this value uh, a little bit. Make it emit light okay now if you go to the rendered mode well uh, you you see uh, the sea already uh, kind of the shine and uh, the horizon and other components uh, we probably need to make it a little bit darker. Our subject is stormy, stormy sea, and it has to look stormy enough. Uh, okay, now back to uh, the add-on, and uh, uh, let me check this generate foam. Okay, and well, this would. This would um, add to the foam, uh, kind of extend the extend it or uh, making it uh, look more interesting. Uh, yeah, and uh, I would I would add this value. I mean, increase this value to the. Uh, repeat why uh, I would I would go to view here and uh, select camera uh, well here and now I can't see the horizon uh, so I will go to camera here and uh, here and then let me give this focal length a value I would give it 8 Okay, yeah. Now you you could you could see the horizon too. While we're here, uh, let me select uh, texture and uh, put my cursor here and add a globe, a UV sphere, uh, S, and make it smaller. Well, this is going to be the moon. Uh, now, if we go, we'll go to uh, material and new. Uh, I would, I would give it a bluish color, and because it's a bright object, so I would, 
I would make it emit light. Uh, let me give it a relatively high value. Uh, eight is probably yeah. It's it's bright enough, and uh, the shine would be bluish too. Okay, so when we go to rendered, yeah, it give probably the impression uh, of having uh, the moon here in this scene. I mean, the sea and the moon. And uh, uh, again, back to texture, uh, this light, click on the light. And let's uh, move it to this position. Uh, okay, to, I mean, I want it to uh, be, uh, I mean, to give the effect of the reflection of the moon. Uh, let's see if, if we have the effect uh, rendered. Yeah, I mean, it, as though the moon is in the sky uh, it's it's a stormy night and the moon is in the sky and the reflection of the moon in the sea uh, we would still need to change the position of the moon making it and let me uh, make it smaller okay so yeah or see what happened yes yeah it's it's now okay now back to uh, the add-on well I have to select the C uh, and uh, uh, let's increase this value resolution 8 uh, 9 well 10 well back to 9 okay does it look stormy enough <laughs> let me let's see what happens if we go to 11 yeah it, it, it looks uh, a little bit better perhaps uh, yeah and uh, uh, we could do additional I mean you could enhance it by changing some values uh, on world here while I selected world uh, for example uh, checking mist here down you scroll down and uh, check mist and uh, uh, well let me give it what happens oh it might not be it might not be good here we also have depth and this would mean uh, I mean, this is uh, related to the distance of the mist. If the mist is supposed to be here in this area, then it's related to the distance uh, uh, between uh, the mist and the camera. I mean, the camera is here. Okay, let if okay, this is the camera, and if the mist is in this area, then it, let me increase it okay well we, we would need to um, spend time and kind of trying to uh, make I mean to fix everything or to make things uh, uh, in the way in which um, the objects uh, seem natural and realistic uh, I have I have done this little project before 
and let me uh, show the results uh, I, I here have mist too look at this the mist and uh, the moon and the reflection of the moon and it's uh, supposed uh, it's a, a, sto a stormy sea obviously or uh, I would uh, want it to give this effect and uh, there is also another picture uh, this one uh, this does not have the mist uh, but the, the moon the reflection and the stormy sea uh, this was uh, the end of my video about uh, the ocean add-on thank you